everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's David, just in case you're new here. Now in today's video, I'm going to be participating in the Look For Less Challenge that's hosted by Latina Next Door. Her name is Yami. Just in case you guys aren't following her, go ahead and subscribe to her channel. I will leave her channel linked down below in the description box, as well as a playlist for this challenge that will feature everybody's video that participated. This was more of an open challenge, so just random people have just thrown in their video. So in case you want to check that out, maybe you'll get some new ideas, some new creators that you've never seen before. It might be participating like myself. I've never done this. So in case you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I make all kinds of home decor DIYs. Right now I'm super into the rustic, vintage, modern kind of vibe, this organic, neutral, primitive feel. I do all sorts of quote unquote high-end dupes. Okay, so I actually like participating in these types of challenges just because I feel like it can kind of open up new roads to your channel slash to the viewer. So I feel like it's a win-win because the viewer gets to discover somebody new and the channel itself, YouTuber, gets a new subscriber and they start growing. And that's how people kind of connect and grow and I love just growing within this community. It's been so lovely participating in a lot of these challenges and actually have one of my own high-end dupe challenges that's coming up on June 3rd and this is a closed collab so like this one that I'm in right now today is more of an open where like anybody just throws in their video in the playlist the one that's coming up on June 3rd I'm in a closed one I just wanted to mention that just in case you wanted to watch that one as well so don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video if you liked any of my projects comment down below which one was your favorite one without further ado Let's get into the video. The first item I'm gonna be duping is from Pottery Barn, the $69 wood cake stand. Now mine is not wood, however, I still think it turned out really, really cute. So let's see what I did to create this. I found these black dining wear pieces at Target. They are plastic. They were on sale for 50 cents a piece, so I picked up a bowl and I picked up a plate. I think you guys might have seen me do this little hack, Target hack, DIY, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, if you follow me on Instagram, I will leave the handle right here in case you do want to follow me over on Instagram. So all you're going to do literally is like put the bowl upside down. Let me back the camera up a little bit so you guys can see. Sorry for my background mess. Don't mind that. We're looking at this here. And then you're literally just going to glue the plate right on top of the bowl in the center. And I don't know if you guys can see how cool this piece looks. Bring the camera down a bit. But it creates this like really cool shaped pedestal cake stand or I'm not really sure but I feel like it looks super high end and I've seen this on several websites. Not the exact same but I will like do a comparison on the screen for you so you can see what it kind of looks like like similar. Yeah I'm pretty stoked with this piece though. I think it looks so good. Super, super good. I'm going to go ahead and glue it real quick and then show you how I style it. Again, don't mind the mess. I'm trying, guys. I'm just going to leave the sticker on. Make sure it looks good all the way around. Now, when you are gluing this together, you don't want to push too hard because if two of the plastic pieces stick together and then when you let go, it'll kind of undone. So you just kind of lightly do it and let the glue do its magic. You can use E6000 if you want to really hold this together, but um, for the purpose of the video, I'm just using hot glue to show you guys.
Moving on to DIY number two. So this dupe is of these Java beads. They're $95, which I thought was insane. It's on the website Jalina. Honestly, don't know if I even pronounced that right. I'm so sorry if I butchered the name. Well, I was obsessed with how these beads are like different stains and whatnot. So we're gonna create our own. I originally got this idea from Deborah over at Vintage Furniture Finds. That is her Instagram handle. I don't think she has a YouTube. I will go ahead and link that down below anyways, in case you guys want to follow her on Instagram. Okay, sorry about my messy background. I don't even care at this point, you guys. You're just going to have to deal with it. Okay, if if you can mind the mess, you can mind the matter. Ugh. Okay, as I'm casually being dramatic here, I found these really cool beads that had these houses on it and it spelled out welcome. It was like this garland situation. It was on clearance for $5 and I bought it because I wanted to use the beads from it and just remove these little houses that's hanging on this. 40 beads, I don't know, I didn't really count them. So I'm gonna take this apart and we're gonna use the beads. So let me just take this apart real quick. And I'm gonna carefully take this apart. I could probably use these houses for another project later on in the future. I'm gonna keep that in mind. And you can always reuse string for other projects. So really I should just keep all the little bits and pieces. You never know. And here's one of the houses so that's really, really cute. did want to go ahead and use some paints different colors to stain my beads right let's get started this is more or less like raw wood it's pretty much ready to go I just need to add a little bit of coloring so I'm gonna have a little bit of brown and a little paintbrush kind of dip it in some water and get this kind of pre wet then that We'll for sure make sure like the bead isn't being like too oversaturated. Then I'm gonna dip my brush into the color and then I'm gonna lightly kind of dab this. And then I'm gonna try my best to leave this line in the middle. You can see like this distinct Kind of line i want that to kind of show and pop through just so it looks kind of like an ombre and it will be just slightly darker than like this one as you can see the cream now you can see that that bead is lighter this one i'm going to use this kind of tan color Probably my favorite one, I think it's so pretty. Here's a black one, and I'm just gonna take some paper towel and just kind of rub off the black. So this is how my beads turned out. I really like using a paint wash. I think it worked out pretty well. So let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go ahead and style these. The strings, you could go multiple different ways with tying them off. I think I'm just gonna do a simple like loop on one end like this. Then the other end, cause I think I'm gonna add more beads later on. So I don't wanna cut this. But what I'm gonna do for right this minute, I'm just gonna go like this back and forth. I'm just gonna make it up here like it's a shorter piece by doing this. And I'm not doing anything like crazy here. <laughs> it might look like I am, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just tying it off just like this, just something really simple, short and simple. 
probably won't look the best, but honestly, that is not the main focus of this project. The rope, it is the beads. So when I lay it in a bowl, I will just put this on the bottom and put the beads kind of over it. For now, I'm just going to have it like this. It just has these two like loops on the end. And then this piece here. You could add tassels. I don't want to do that for this piece. And now for our final DIY, and you guys have probably have guessed it based on the video, how it's been going. We are going to be creating this vintage weathered clay pot. I'm super, super stoked for this. It's one of my all-time favorite pots I've ever done on my channel. So this pot is going for $145. No. Absolutely not. I found this one on sale at Kohl's that looks similar in shape. I actually got mine for around $14 because I had a 25% off coupon that I was able to use on top of the sale price. So as with any pot that you would add handles to, I'm going to be using air dry clay. So the first step to this little handle process, just get out some clay and kind of pinch it together to try and get out most of the air bubbles to prevent cracking when it starts to dry. Start forming your handles, and I do this just by squeezing the clay together and I roll it as I go. This is just making basically a stick. A stick, we'll just call it a stick, okay? Because I don't really know how else to explain it. And then once you get this stick skinny enough, the width that you want it, just kind of bend it on itself and curve it and then you'll be able to attach that as a handle onto your pot. So after you kind of kind of know where you're gonna put it onto the pot, I like to just push it into the pot, make sure that clay kind of spreads out a little bit, that way the clay attaches to the pot. And I make sure I stick something such as my finger or maybe a paintbrush inside of this little section just to make sure that that hole is like pretty round. Once you're happy with how your handles turn out, you can go ahead and let this dry. It will take a day or two. I like to put a bag over this so it doesn't dry out too fast, again, to prevent cracking. Now, if it does crack and fall off, just use wood glue to glue it back onto the pot. To make my handles look seamless, I'm using Matte Black by Top Notch. This is from Joann Fabrics. I actually really like this paint. They have lots of different colors in matte and in the two ounce, which they're only like 64 cents or something, which I think is a really good deal, honestly. And I like having the smaller paints on hand. That way I can have more, more colors and it takes up less space if it was like a big bulky thing of paint, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Now I have to go ahead and just paint this whole little handle matte black. It does look a little weird because it doesn't look the same like same exact color that's because the pot that I'm using was actually it was matte black but it has this kind of whitish coating over the top of that which kind of makes it look like dusty now I'm just going in with this spackle I got from Dollar Tree I'm gonna go ahead and put that everywhere on the pot this really helps blend in again that handle to the pot to make it look a bit more seamless so I'm just gonna push it in right here you can do this step before painting or after. It doesn't really matter um, because I'm going to go over all of this with some more paint. So then after I was done with the white and I thought it looked pretty good, you could leave it here if you wanted to. I wanted to warm this up a little bit and make it look like it had some dirt on it. So I just mixed in a little bit of this tan brown. I put it on there and then I would just rub it off right away. And that way it just looked like, I don't know, dirt. <laughs> you could do this so many different ways, though, to add a little dirt effect. You could literally use real dirt. Get your pot or vase wet. Use some dirt. Rub it in there. It kind of makes this muddy effect. But that might scratch off your spackle that you just did. So just be a little careful when applying the dirt. Sometimes you just gotta believe 
There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave me a thumbs up, comment down below. Don't forget to check out the playlist and go over to Yami's channel and tell her that I sent you. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.